I'll be taking you mathematics uh, for SS1. First and foremost, we would like to inform you about what is expected of you to learn in SS1, which is listed on the table below based on the curriculum. Although there are some junior school revision topics which are introduced in the curriculum and will be taught through this medium of teaching. This is a table of contents. Uh, under the table of contents, we have the team and the topic. The first team that we'll be looking at is number and numeration, as you can see, under which we have topics like indices, logarithm, and sets. The second team is algebraic process, which under which we have quadratic equation and graphical representation of quadratic equation. Number three is geometry. We are under which we have plane geometry, we have mensuration, which is also known as plane shapes, and the trigonometry. The fourth one, which will be the last we'll be taking, considering for SS1, is statistics, as you can see, which is number four, under which we have topics like uh, data representation, which is also known as tally, and uh, graphical representation of data. Now we're not going to our first chapter which is number and numeration. The first subtopic we'll be taking is number-based system. A number-based system is a system of counting in which certain units make up a bundle. The number of the base gives the number of units present in the bundle. The number of the base gives the number of units present in the bundle. Numbers can be expressed in any base from base two, which is known as binary, Upwards. Generally, counting is done in base 10, which is known as ternary, ternary or decimal. Other common bases include 2, binary, 3, ternary, 4, quaternary, 5, quinary, 6, centenary, 7, centenary, 8, octal, 9, nonary, 10, decimal or denary, 20, by decimal, 30, trigesimal, 40, quadra quadragesimal, 50, quinquadecimal, 60, sexagesimal, 70, septuagesimal, 80, octagesimal, 90, nonagesimal, 100, centesimal. The highest digit of any normal base is always done, is always one less than the base. That is x minus 1. Just as we can see an example in the table here. We have, we have base 2 as a 0 and 1. The, norm, the digits available in base 2 is just 0 and 1, which is 1 less than the base. We have octal base 8, where we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, which is one less than the base. While the base 10 that we usually use is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, which is the, the last figure there, the last digit that we are having. Now we now go to conversion. To convert a number from a given base n to a base 10, either express the number as powers of the base and add or use repeated multiplication method. Also, to convert from base 10 to base n, divide the number repeatedly by n until further division is impossible. Then read the remainders upward. Here, we will be converting from base 10 to other base and also from other base to base 10. Other calculations on normal base system include the following. You have addition, you have subtraction, you have multiplication, and then division. Our first example is to convert its 9 base 10 to a number in base 2. First and foremost, write your 89, you draw a line like this, and then write 2 here. 89 divided by 2 give us 44. How do we get our remainder? 44 times 2 give us 88. 89 minus 88 give us 1. So that's how we get our 1, which is our remainder. Then we now say 44 divided by 2 give us 22. Remainder 0. 
Again, we divide 22. Is it possible for us to divide? So 22 divided by 2 will give us 11, which is remainder 0. Because 2 times 11 will give us 22. Then we now say 20, 11 divided by 2 will give us 5, remainder 1. 2 times 5 is 10, which is not up to 11. 11 minus 10 give us 1. Then again, 5 divided by 2 is still possible, which is 2, remainder 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1, remainder 0. And then again, can we divide 1 by 2? No. So we just write 0, remainder 1. Now, we we'll now take this answer that we have upward. Now say that 89 base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, base 2. Then number 2 on our example list is to convert 35 base 10 to a number in base 2. Write our 35. That's the way we did the other time. 35 divided by 2 will give us 17. 17 times 2 will give us 34. 35 minus 17 will have 1. 17 divided by 2 will give us 8. Remainder 1. 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. Remainder 0. 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. Remainder 0. 2 divided by 2 will give us 1. Remainder 0. Then 1 is not divisible by 2. We just say 0 and then remainder 1. Then we now take our answer upward. Now say 35 base 10 is equal to 1, 0, 0. Remember that we are taking the, all these are remainders upward. Then 1, 1, base 2, which is our final answer. Question number 4. State that express 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, base 2 in octal. How are we going to go about that? It's not that hard. It's not hard at all. Once the normal principle is being followed, the first thing we'll just do is just to convert that base 2 to base 10. The answer we we'll get from that will be what we are going to, co to convert to base 8. So we'll start by we'll start that by um, writing out our question, which is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 base 2. We are converting it to base 8. And so first thing we are going to do is to convert to base 10. So it will be equal to, remember the, uh, in the last pre previous examples, I said it is ideal for you to number the power so that it should be easier for you. That will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will be 1 times 2 raised to the power of 5 times a uh, plus that will be plus 1 times 2 raised to the power of 4 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 3 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to the power 0. And we should recall that 2 raised to the power 0 is 1. So let's start giving our answer. 2 raised to the power 5 is 32. That's a 32. Plus 2 raised to the power 4 is 16. 2 raised to the power 3 is 8. 2 raised to the power 2 is 4. 2 raised to the power 1, 1 times. That's plus 2 plus 2, then plus 1. Let's add it. 32 plus 8 is 40. 40 plus 
20, uh, that's 63. So we're having 63 is 10. So this is what we are going to convert back to base 8. That will be 63. 63 divided by 8 is 7. 8 times 7 is 56. 63 minus 56 will give us 7. And then it's not possible to divide 7 by 8. So we just put a 0 and then put a 7. So we now say that um, after we've converted base 2 to base 10 and then base 10 to base 8, we now say that 1, 1, therefore 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 base 2 is equal to 77 base 8, which gives us our final answer. This answer, you get it natural once you follow the normal procedure.